So this is this is 3.8b, the second video on 3.8, the substitution method. We're on example number 5. And we have 4x plus 2y equals 8. And we have y equals negative 2x plus 4. All right. Well, they told us what our y is here, so that's saving us a step. So I can put... 4x plus 2, and I'm going to put negative 2x plus 4 in for y, and that equals 8. So I substituted. So again, I put this in place of y here, so now I have one equation and one variable. That's what I'm really trying to do, is get one equation and one variable, because that is the only way I can solve an equation is if there's only one variable and one equation. When there's two variables and two equations like that, I can't solve it. So my goal is to get it down to one. All right, so let's distribute this. Two times negative two x is negative four x. Two times four is eight, and that equals eight. That's this eight right there. Four x plus negative 4x is 0x's, so those, my x's go away, and I get 8 equals 8. Well, that's a true statement, but I don't know what my x is, and I don't know what my y is. But what do we have? We have a true statement there. So that means that uh, the line of this first equation is on top of the line of the second equation. So that means all answers um, work for this. So there's an infinite number of solutions to this problem. That's why I wanted to do that one, is let you know that there's an infinite number of solutions because the lines lie on top of each other. Now example six, our last one, has to do with a story problem. The following table shows two contract rates charged by GTE wireless for cell phone use. At how many minutes will the two rates cost the same amount? So let's say that we have a graph here and then we have another graph that looks like that. Alright, what they're looking at, where do those two rates cost the same? And that'll be where they cross. So I'm doing a system of equations just like I've done in the past few problems. So we've got plan one is fifteen dollars a month and then when you use your phone it costs you a dollar fifty a minute this is the olden days when they used to charge you per minute this one is twenty four dollars and ninety five cents a month but the charge that you pay per minute is only seventy five cents so we're trying to figure out at which point um, do they cost the same um, per month. So we're going to um, let y equal the monthly charge for x minutes of phone use. So we don't know how many minutes of phone use we, we have, but I know with plan one that if we take a dollar fifty times how many minutes we use and we add the fifteen dollars a month that's going to give us how much it's going to cost us to use the phone that month. So what I can do is I can put, let's say that I talk on the phone 10 minutes. So 10 minutes times a dollar and a half is going to be $15 plus this 15. That means it's going to cost me $30 a month to talk 10 minutes. So that's what this X is. That X represents how many minutes we have times how much it is per minute and that will tell us how much we get charged for the time we use, and then we have to add the 15. Plan 2 is the exact same, only we're getting charged 75 cents a minute, so 0.75 times however many minutes, plus 24.95 per month. So we're getting charged less per minute, but our monthly rate is more. And let's say you're trying to figure out which of those two plans is the best one for you. Well, if y equals this and y equals that, 
I can really say that these two are equal, right? Because y equals y, so whatever y equals um, is going to be equal to, I'm trying to talk and write at the same time. So these two, we're trying to find out where they're equal. Okay, so notice <clears throat> all I have are x's, and that makes life a lot easier for me. Okay, so let's see. Let's bring these x's over here. So that gives me dollar one point five times or minus point seven five is point seven five. And that gets rid of that and that. Plus 15 equals 24.95. Okay, we're going to subtract 15, subtract 15, and I get 0.75x equals uh, 9.95 divided by 0.75. And my x equals 13.27. Now, if you remember from way, way up in the original problem here, our x value was how many minutes we talked on the phone. And we got 13.3, I'm <coughs> sorry, 27. Let's make it better. 13.27 minutes. 13.27 minutes is our um, point where both plans are the same. So actually 13.27 would actually be 14 because they don't charge you in decimal minutes. As soon as you hit 13 point something they go up to the next minute. So 14 minutes. If you talked less than 14 minutes, this would be the best deal. If you talked more than 14 minutes a month, which I can't imagine any of you talking um, less than 14 minutes a month, then uh, this is going to be the best price for you. So that's kind of the crossover. So that's how you decide whether you're, which one of these is the best deal for you. It's like maybe you don't call anybody, you just have your phone for emergency use. Well, this is going to be the best deal. But if you're going to talk more than that 14 minutes, this is going to be the best deal. So that is um, Lesson 3.8b, and we are done with Lesson 3.8.